Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. In the previous show, I showed you my problems with this website here. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Uh, I thought it would be another good source of information to determine how well conditions are for the shortwave bands. Uh, several things didn't work, as I pointed out in the previous show. It's probably something wrong with my setup. But now I'm going to show you one, another website that works well for me. I've showed it to you a couple of times, but I just thought I'd mention it again. It has a lot of options. I think some of them are new. I don't remember seeing them before. So I'm going to take you to that right now. And that is this dxmaps.com, which they've got various maps similar to the other one, but with a lot of other features. Now here's... Um, United States zoomed in. This is, I have selected the 30 meter band again. And I turned off, no, I got all modes on, which includes phone, CW, digital, WSPR. Now the other website is, I believe, just digital modes. So there will be less things on the map. And you can see, and this is updated. Uh, it doesn't really say how often, but it's updated pretty regularly. And uh, I mean, you know, seconds or minutes. Yep, it just updated. And so it's a great source of information. Um, so you can see, like for right now, the 31 meter band is very active, but mostly within a particular country. Now, let me zoom out. You can see there's a whole bunch of activity within Europe and the Middle East. There's a whole bunch of activity within the United States. And in some activity, it's right now, it's 8 o'clock in the morning here in um, Clearwater, Florida. Um, and typically, the band that's most active, typically, this time of morning, is 80 meters. And then as the day progresses... The 31 meter band will get better and better, and then into the night it gets even better. But in the morning, it's good for communications or listening in Asia. And in late afternoon, evening, it's better in Europe. And this kind of reflects that. You've only got one line here going from the United States to Europe, and a number of lines. Uh, going from Asia to the United States. And this uh, shows you the actual uh, call sign of the operator that did the report. These are reports done by individuals and uploaded to this website by various means. And the one thing about this website that I don't think is a restriction on the other website is this one, if you want to use some additional options you have to register and I believe you have to have an amateur radio license. Like for instance, here is a page, okay, here's a page where I'm not logged in. The login is right up here. And you can see when I clicked on one of these stations to get more information, it says I clicked on this one and you must be logged in to access more information. So let me go back, see if I can, uh, where was that station? I, I don't know, it doesn't really matter. I was hoping to get the same station. But let me go back to the other page where I am logged in. Oops, wrong page. This one I am logged in. So let me zoom in here and see if I can find that station again. Maybe it was oh, the one over here that's got... Nope, it wasn't that one. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. So let me just click on one of these. This guy here, let me click on him, and then I'll click on his tag. And, whoops, it's off the page. There's the additional information you can get. Uh, where he's located, uh, how many miles away he is from me, the direction the time of day where he is, all kinds of additional information. 
I can say, though, I think, number one, you have to register, and I think you have to register with an amateur radio call sign to get this additional information. Now, if you're not an amateur, you don't have a license, you can still see the maps and, and get the lines and stuff. And let me, uh, uh, okay, how do I close this page? I uh, just click on it. Yeah, I just click on another place. Oh, yep, I clicked on another spot. Okay. So, okay, I don't want to click here to hide the window. Okay, there we go. Get that out of the way. So you would see this. And there's infinite number of things you can do on this website besides the maps. You can get, instead of maps, you can get a listing by coming over here and selecting list and now here's a listing which may be easier more easier for you to read or to find something you can do a graph of activity chat I'm not sure what that is okay I guess that's if you want to chat for other people that for instance that are on this 30 meter band which I'm not allowed to operate but I can listen on this band because I don't have the higher level amateur radio license. But I can listen on this band. And we go back to maps. And then you can select you can select v, uh, LF and HF bands. And then select each one of these or all of them. Like if we I, I select all bands, it's going to be pretty messy. Yeah, it's pretty messy. So I selected, in this case, I selected the 30 meter band. And then you can, uh, I, again, I don't know if these options, well, let me try it. Oh, no, I still have it. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of that window that says I can't do anything because I'm not logged in. Or I can't get more information. Now let me see if I can use the, yeah, you, you got all these options you can use, like, these are the uh, grid squares here. Let me get rid of those. They take up a lot of room. So let's temporarily show it high grid squares. Okay, those are out of my way. So it looks like most of the op options you can use without uh, registering, and the registration is free, uh, except the information about other ham operators. That's not available to you if you're not a ham. So let's go back to the, uh, the other one. And then, like, <clears throat> for instance, right up here, here's the, the website address right there. And then there's all the other pages that are available, loads of pages, loads of information. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here is the solar information right now. Again, all this stuff is pretty much real time. You can select different layers. You can have a gray line. Let's just exclude... Let's choose the gray line to show up on the map. <clears throat> so you can see the gray line is just past me. And he even, what he does, let me uh, zoom out here. Okay, here is the about hour time frame of which is one of the characteristics of shortwave listing to listen in the gray line and in, in, in that band right there between <clears throat> sunlight and darkness. So right now, excuse me. <clears throat> I'm so excited I've lost my voice. Sorry about that. Um, so right, well, about an hour or two ago, I would have been down here in Florida in this gray line area and then, like the uh, this the coast of Asia would have been, so I could possibly receive, or more likely receive stations over here, like in China Radio or Japan Radio, over here than I could over here. Now this evening, when this cycles around, when the sun cycles around, and and I'm back in darkness and. Europe is in darkness, I can receive those stations better. Now, there are many other characteristics that affect that, so that's just one of them. But anyway, I wanted to just come back to this 
website, uh, DX Maps. It's got a lot of good information that you can use, especially if you're an amateur operator and even if you're just a shortwave listener. I wish the other one, I don't know what's wrong. I was hoping it would work too. It looks promising. It looks like it has features like the one I just showed you, but I can't get them to work. If somebody can tell me what I'm doing wrong, I'd appreciate it. Like I say, uh, yesterday I sent an a, a email to the owner of this, Philip, down here, and I haven't gotten a response of why <clears throat> I'm having a problem. I did find in the um, communications room, I'm trying to think of what you call it, um, another person that couldn't get the lines to show up. So, but only one other person. So, apparently we're doing something wrong. Anyway, that's the show. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.